I've got to tell you, I really, really love my DeWalt gear. I've got everything that uh, DeWalt have just about made. Um, if you walk into my workshop, it's like walking into a DeWalt warehouse. Um, I've even got the big lighted sign. One of the, uh, the bigger tools from DeWalt that I bought has been my thicknesser. And it's been, it's been great, don't get me wrong, it's been fantastic, but one of the things that I really, really missed or really wanted was a spiral head cutter. The spiral head cutters, um, they cut so much cleaner, so much quieter. Uh, the finish they leave is you almost don't need to sand anymore. They're, it's It almost comes out like a finished piece of timber. It's it's brilliant. I wanted the, uh, the spiral head cutter, but I don't think uh, DeWalt make one. And please don't quote me on that. I haven't done any research to, to back that, that statement up. Um, but I did source one locally. Uh, the place I found the spiral head cutter from is uh, Timbercon. Um, as you all know, my favourite store in the whole world. Uh, my thicknesser originally was a straight blade cutter and again, it, it performed well, it was great. Um, but the, as, as we all know, when it comes with the, the blades in the, uh, the thicknesser, if you cop a nick in one of those blades, then you've got a, a little bump in your timber going through. And, and the way the DeWalt um, combat that is you can offset the blades so you, you you're gonna get rid of that little uh, that little nick but now that I've got the uh, the spiral head cutter in there if I cop a nick in a blade um, all I've got to do is turn one of the little blades around and it's back to being fantastic again and, um, and like I said just the, the quality that comes out of this thing now is, is second to none the first time I ran it through after I got the spiral head in there um, I thought to myself, well, that's it. That's, there's nothing left for me to do. This is, my life is over because this is as good as it's gonna get. So. The first thing that came to mind was how quiet it was. It was, it was a hell of a lot quieter than the old straight blade cutters. Um, but the second thing that I noticed was how smooth the, the, the finish was as it was coming out the other end. The finish on these is so good that the uh, the sanding part of your your job is almost almost done for you. You could almost once it comes out of the machine, you could almost apply finish straight to it. The difference between the helical cutter and a straight blade cutter is the helical blades, and there's a lot of them in there, are actually set off on a little bit of an angle, uh, and that that way they're not actually cutting the timber, they're shearing the timber, as opposed to the straight cutter where it's coming down, it's actually chopping into the timber. And uh, it's still doing, if you've got brand new blades in there, it still does a fairly decent job, but it's not as clean and not as quiet as the helical cutters. So if you're a DeWalt user, and you've got the same thickness as I've got, and you want to convert it to a, a helical cutter, which I strongly advise you do, give Timbercon a call or check the links below. They'll uh, have all the details there for you. Now I'm, uh, I'm Chris from Built by Chris. Uh, you can catch me on YouTube. Um, and I'll just end up by saying bye for now.